Nah, hello and greetings. I posted a picture in the community forum of my YouTube page uh, showing uh, that the uh, tomato plants that I was growing, and I'm not using any fertilizer, are growing really rapidly fast. Everybody says, why don't you do controls? Because I've been doing controls for years. There have been actually now, here in uh, July of 2020, already an enormous amount of people that have uh, taken this to task. And of course, they're getting amazing results. I showed you images of my tomato plants that are actually growing really rapidly. And everybody keeps asking, why does this happen? You know, and, and you know, what do you use? I've made a lot of videos on what I use, but I actually use these. This is wrapped in cellophane right now. This is a two inch by two inch by one inch neodymium iron boron. They're uh, usually N42 gauss or N45 gauss. Makes no difference to which one you buy, but these are the best to buy for the money. Where do you get them? You get them on eBay. Um, all of these are, of course, uh, chromium plated is the reason why you want to wrap them in cellophane so that the uh, plating does not leach out into the root system of the plants, which, of course, is bad. You know, you don't want chromium leaching out. Of course, uh, soil gets acidic. I uh, place itself full facing up underneath the root system of the plants as close as I could get it. You know, I put in my dirt. You know, I put in my uh, south full pole facing upwards and I stick my plant in. The reason, the way this works is actually two reasons. And of course, all life, last I recall, is based on water. And this is not my opinion, this is a fact. Look this up, just type in water polar molecule. This is the water molecule, as I'm sure you're probably well aware. Yeah, oxygen to hydrogen. Water is a polar molecule. And what best to affect a polar molecule, which is the basis of all life, than the universe's most amazing polar object? And that would, of course, be a magnet. Here we go. Here's the magnet. That's uh, part number one. The reason also, too, for the effect is that uh, all force vectors are three-dimensional S-curves, yes? And the actual phase disparity that exists due to geomagnetic precession and lag, which is also the same reason for GPS satellite correction, not relativity, is that the actual field disparity exists at a rarefaction and compression at a ratio of one to phi, one on the North Pole and phi on the South Pole. How is the? I've tried to think of the easiest way to explain this, and it's almost like a time because everybody's watched science fiction. This is a nature's real time dilation device. So the reason for the effect of all living creatures and all living creatures are affected by magnetic fields. Also, too, you wouldn't want to accelerate growth on certain things, right? Like you wouldn't want to help the nourishment of a tumor, would you? Bad things should not grow. You'd want to wash bad things, so in which case, of course, you'd want to use the North Pole with a magnet. But everybody that's actually performed this experiment, you could use all the controls you want. I mean, I've done years of controls, okay? Stop telling me, you need to do a control. It's like, yeah, I've been doing controls for years. I wish people would stop saying that. Is that water is a polar molecule. It is affected by the universe's most awesome polar object, which is a magnet. It just can't be, also, by the way, you can't use, like, don't use dinky ring magnet, don't use little pissy refrigerator magnets, don't use these little poopy uh, dollar store uh, ferrite ceramic magnets. Um, you, you could use, technically, samarium cobalt, but samarium cobalt is rare, and it's hard to get your damn hands on a good samarium cobalt. Uh, samarium cobalt that size, uh, this size, would cost you a crap load of money. So that's the reason. Why does it have to be a neodymium? Well, it doesn't have to be. It's just it's the most practical. Getting powerful ferrite magnets is essentially non-existent. I mean, speaker magnet. I mean, there are actual powerful ferrite magnets. They're easy to destroy. These are also too ceramic, just like uh, ferrite magnets are. So this is the most practical reason. Magnetism is magnetism. doesn't matter if the magnet is ferrite, uh, neodymium iron boron, or samarium cobalt. It's just that it's the most frigging practical. It's kind of like you could drive on a back road with a, a hot rod that, you know, like rides an inch above there, but it would be really, really stupid. Same principle applies. So that's the reason why there's such radical, and this is the stuff you never learned in school. I am, and this is no exaggeration, I've had no less than a thousand people, literally no less than a thousand, over the years say, you know, I thought I'd uh, do this experiment because uh, you know you're not pimping and selling anything. 
And the results seem to speak for themselves. I did the test and the results are amazing. Yes, in fact, they are. So that is the two reasons why um, living tissue, whether it be, I don't believe in the living creature experimentation like chickens and worms and, you know, birds, you know, I, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not up for that. But, uh, you know, seed experiments and plant growth. For example, if you use the uh, tomatoes, it will actually stunt the growth and you won't get as many tomatoes. But if you like wanted your tomatoes to be a lot less acidic, you would use the north side. If you wanted them to like grow fast, like the picture that I uploaded earlier today and have lots of tomatoes and be, you know, just a hair more acidic than your typical control tomato, you would use the south side. Yes, it actually affects the acidity. Um, so the reason is that water is a polar molecule. And the second reason is the phase disparity because magnetism is force of motion, centrifugal divergence. It literally is nature's force vector. And all force vectors are three-dimensional S-curves. Yeah, just think about that for a second. Now you listen to me say three-dimensional S-curve, but can you picture it in your mind? Just like bend a piece of wire into the shape of an S and then take each end and bend it inversely. That would be a three-dimensional S-curve. Yeah, all four spectrums are three. And so the geomagnetic precession, also called the low Mohr frequency, sets up a phase disparity where in which and by which uh, the uh, living tissue, not just the water, it actually undergoes an effect due to the rarefaction and compression. It's also the same reason why I can immediately tell which is the North Pole and which is the South Pole underneath the ferro cell, because you can actually see a, uh, a blue shift on the uh, on the south side and a red shift on the north side. This is also to my discovery on how birds navigate. They don't actually, we've known birds navigate via magnetism, but it's not directly, it's indirectly. It's the effect of the magnetic field, and this includes moonlight. The effect of the magnetic field uh, upon the light uh, from the Earth's magnetosphere. That's right, so the bird or creature does not have to um, be uh, color sighted, they could be uh, color blind creatures, but they still see the phase disparity. So they can actually navigate via magnetism, but it is not directly. It is indirectly. That is my discovery, by the way. Yes. Where's my Nobel prize for that discovery? Oh yes, I'll never get one, but that's okay. So that's to answer the question of why magnets. And these are the ones you want. Like I said, you can get them on eBay. Neodymium actually fluctuates like gold and silver does, believe it or not, in China. Neodymium is basically everywhere, but uh, it's a dirty process to mine it, and basically the Chinese are nearly the only people mining it. So it actually fluctuates like gold and silver. Right now, neodymium magnets are cheap. Really, really cheap. These used to be like 60 bucks a pop when neodymium was really high, like about 2016, 2017, and 18. Now these magnets can be had, depends on how many you order. I mean, if you like order a thousand of them, you can get them really cheap. But uh, these average like, I think, like 35 bucks on eBay or so. These are so powerful. This is no joke. By the way, you can look this up too. Human receptors are uh, very, very concentrated and very sensitive on the lips and nose and tongue. Yeah. And you can actually, if, if you get one of these magnets, you can actually stick it near the tip of your nose and you can actually feel it or on your lips. Don't touch your lips, but get it really, really close. You can actually feel it. It feels like a very, very slight electrostatic tingle. It's not my, you can also too, there's another place you could feel it on your body. You could feel it on uh, your wrist. You get it really, really close to the veins on your wrist. There are actually a lot of receptors right here on the wrist. Anyway, these are the ones to get two inch by two inch by one inch neodymium iron boron in 42 gauss in 45 gauss. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this very simple video. Yeah, it's simple, isn't it? I think it's pretty simple. Um, by the way, everybody keeps asking me this. Don't stick magnets on your head. You know, I don't want to be responsible for anybody having anything happen to them. Please don't stick magnets near your eyes or your, very close to your ears or your head. Okay, don't do that. People say, what do I do? Stick it near my... Don't do that. Don't do it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Bye.